Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Ultraviolet Stitches. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe or like the video. My name is Chevelle and I will be telling you everything that I took to stitch on a plane. So the first thing that I always do is I actually put the project in a bag that's going to go under the seat in front of me. This allows me to access the project at any point during the flight. Um, so I don't recommend putting it in the bag that you're going to put in the overhead. Um, as you can see here, I put everything in one bag. So this can be a nice cloth project bag if that is an item that you have available to you but I did not so I just used a plastic gallon size Ziploc baggie and it worked perfectly fine just to contain um, pretty much everything I needed okay so now here I have my project um, this is my current whip and this is um, masquerade by ink circles and it is like a Halloween-esque design you'll notice here that I actually have the paper chart so even though I do have this chart on Pattern Keeper, I decided to print it out so that I could have the pattern or chart more accessible. Um, you can use Pattern Keeper and take your tablet onto the plane and use it, um, but just keep in mind that you're going to need to bring additional cords to keep that, applying, or keep that um, tablet charged. And so for, for simplicity's sake, I just used a paper pattern and I brought a highlighter to mark it. The next thing that I brought was a hoop. So this is just a, a hoop that I use to stretch my fabric. But if you don't use a hoop and you stitch in hand, then you wouldn't need this. I also bought a pack of needles because I lose my needles a lot. The next thing that I packed was my threads. So these threads are all pre-cut to my normal stitching preference. Um, as you can also see, I only have four colors that I picked. Um, this is just to simplify, and these are all the colors that I will be stitching on this chip. I also packed a needle minder so that I could um, I always keep track of my needles when they are currently in use. And yeah, that is all the things that I packed um, so that I could stitch while I was on the plane. Um, there are a few things that I would recommend that you not bring. Um, a few of those things being any sort of scissors. Um, I do know there is rumors that you can bring like clippers nail clippers on the plane but i really didn't want to risk it so all i did was um stitch with the length that i had all the way up until the end and then once i got to the end of the thread i just weaved it into the back of my current stitches uh here is an example of how i use a keychain as my thread wrap I pretty much just find the, the loop that's facing me and pull one single thread out with the needle. So that is the end of my video. Thanks so much for visiting. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and see you in the next one. Bye!